If you've been subscribed for a while, you've heard me say it a million times, we're gonna be rebuilding this engine. And today is the day that we are finally pulling the engine out of the White Knight Pre-Runner Sierra. So uh, I'm gonna go swing over to Harbor Freight, get some stuff to drain some fluids, and then we are gonna get to pulling this engine out. So let's swing over there. I just got back from Harbor Freight. We got Paul over, and uh, we're just uh, starting to pull all this apart. So this thing is rusty, and I have broken several bolts trying to get things undone, like when I did the headlights. So we're gonna go ahead and start hitting everything with PV Blaster. So that way I can actually get all this. Apart. All right. So obviously. Um, because of how tall the truck is and how low clearance I have above me, um, in order to get the actual uh, hoist in and out of here, um, we're gonna go ahead and drain all the radiators, the heat exchangers, transmission cooler, everything. Um, that way we can just pull the engine straight out the front. So we're removing all of this. So we're gonna go ahead and drain the fluids. So I got a big bucket here. I lost a bunch when we took the one head off, but I'm sure there's still a lot in there. So. We're gonna see how much we lose right now. Oh yeah. Good stuff. I'm about to snap this head off. Yep. Did you? Yep. That's why I was using the old school. Yeah, it's a the better option. I'm just lazy. So most of these hoses have been on here since it got delivered from the factory, so. Show off that forearm strength. You know, it's hard to be humble when you got this big dick energy. <laughs> Only thing that'd make that douchier if that was a tribal tattoo. <laughs> Honestly, I think this thing's empty. Yeah, this things empty already. Very convenient. Yeah, that already ran through. This is the overflow, so it's the highest point, so. Right. God, look at how disgusting that is in there. Oh, that's got a focus. That just shows you I've never done a coolant flush or anything. <laughs> Those are overrated. I'm gonna drain the oil first, but. Fuck it, let it pour it all out the bottom. Like I said, it's coming out the bottom either way, but. Uh, just bathing my hand in oil, even though I put these clothes on. Transmission cooler is literally getting scrapped um, because we're going to be running the two, two dual ones off the bed cage. So these are just going to get plugged, but got to get it undone to get it all um, out of the way. So this is my, my super shitty transmission cooler and this is why the truck is always overheating so uh yeah upgrades that's one of two that are going to be mounted in the rear and the single is already bigger oh, yeah, bigger than the factory yeah
Alright, JD, they're slightly used, but. Yeah, dude, look how just corroded they are from being on oh, the Oh, that truck. was not coming off. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, it, that's like not even a fraction of how deep it was in there. Alright, so we went ahead and just hacked my uh, headers because they're so corroded down at the Y pipe that we weren't going to be able to get them off. And it made it getting other things out so much more difficult. So I made the executive decision of fuck it. And uh, so here we are. Look at all that room. I just imagine. Nice whirly boy right where Brent's shoulders is. Shoulder is. Nice intercooler up nice front here. Custom up pipes. Ooh. Break a spark plug. Yeah. The jolt, uh, jostling just. Oh, but it's the head. St we can still un unscrew it. Am I good to keep going? Oh, you can see the. Yeah, yeah keep going. We're good. Oh, oh, we talked about having low compression in cylinder three just go ahead and listen and you'll hear get it in closer because I don't think they're gonna be able to hear it Paul your back one too I see bubbling up with yeah. the antifreeze yep things coming out and just get a monster rebuild Our uh, valley cover uh, lift point, what is it called? Yeah, lift, yeah, lift I don't know. It's here, so let's uh, let's get this engine out. Garbage. Oh. There it is, nice and cheap off Amazon. Throw the link in the description. I'll also put a nicer one just in case you feel you don't trust this one, but the hardware. should be plenty fine. We're about to find out if it's fine. <laughs> Alright, well now that the project's done, I've earned this 
refreshing beer. So, got the engine out. We uh, left the 6L80 in there. Definitely needs a tran flush because uh, the oil we were getting out, or the coolant that we were getting out of everything it was, was nasty. Uh, was nasty. But uh, looking at doing a different torque converter, if you have any recommendations, leave it in the comment section down below. There's the good old 5.3 out of this bad boy. Um, so we got on order a Texas Speed low lift stage three cam. Um, we've got new water pump, new oil pump, um, DOD delete valley cover with new lifters. Um, if there's anything else that you recommend that I should do to this engine while I've got it out, please leave it in the comments down below. Uh, we are going to be taking it to a shop, getting it all completely tore down, new pistons, new rings. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's where we're at for right now. For any of the parts that I've already got on order, I put those in the description as well. Go ahead and check that out. Sponsor us. That's <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm going broke doing this, <laughs> so please. Um, yeah, so uh, stay tuned for more videos with the engine, getting it rebuilt and then getting it back in the truck. Uh, tons, tons of truck content to come with this truck. So hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button and we will see you in the next video. No. Pretty Caroline, oh, 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 stone cold stunner. She was a winner, started working at the dining. Oh, 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 oh. It's free real estate.